Have you had questions about utilizing Vimeo within your fitness business? Stay tuned. In this video, we're gonna quickly talk about the positives and negatives of utilizing Vimeo within your fitness business. Before we jump in, make sure to subscribe for future tutorials on tech or even fitness related items. My name is Tyler Valencia and I'm the president of Kips and Kettlebell Concepts. So where can Vimeo fit into my fitness business? If you have a membership based website and you are embedding videos or if you are developing content and you want that content protected, Vimeo can be a great solution for you. One of the biggest differences in Vimeo compared to YouTube is the pricing plans. Vimeo's pricing plans, which go from pro, business, premium, each one has their certain features that range from how much you can upload, how many team members you can have that can view the content, and if you're logging in and streaming. If after this video you want to utilize Vimeo within your business, make sure to utilize the link in the description as it'll give you 25% off your annual subscription. Let's start with the negatives of Vimeo. The first one, very basic, but it's not YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google, tons of visitors per month, and therefore can be useful for a business. Vimeo, not as much, but if you're utilizing it in certain ways, it can be beneficial, which we will go over later on in this video. The next one, and building off of the first one, is the monetizing of videos. And YouTube, if you get to a certain level, you can monetize the videos and get some money back for the content that you're creating. Vimeo, their monetizing of videos is different. It's more of a subscription platform. So if you are creating content, so let's say that you are creating a how-to video for squatting or deadlifting or push-ups, and you want people to pay for it, you can utilize Vimeo in that way and in a way not have to utilize a website for that. The last negative that we're gonna go over, and this one can be a hit for a business, is the pricing. Pricing can range from $20 all the way up to $75 per month, but it's billed annually. So that yearly cost can be a big hit to a business. So I have to throw in there with the pricing that there's usually a discount every year with Kips when we renew our Vimeo subscription, we utilize a coupon that they send us. And if you are looking to utilize Vimeo after this video, make sure to use the link in the description as you'll get 25% off. Now the benefits, and we're gonna start with a big one. You can update past uploads. That's a big one. Let's say that you wanna update a tutorial or a breakdown on an exercise. And with YouTube, you couldn't do that. You would have to delete it and then upload a new one. With Vimeo, you can go right to that video and upload the new file for it. So let's say that the research changed or the way that you cue an exercise changed. You can upload that right to Vimeo and it's seamless. The next one, and this could be great if you are embedding videos into your website, but there's no advertisements. On YouTube, before or even in the middle of a video, a advertisement might pop up and that might annoy your viewers, but with Vimeo, no advertisements. Another great one if you are embedding videos into your website, but you can personalize how it's embedded. If you want to take off the Vimeo logo on the video, or if you want it to just be a play button, or let's say that you wanna change the color on the volume bar. These are all things that you can change and personalize it for your website. And the last one now, but the privacy settings. You can control where it's embedded. You can control if people can download it or if people wanna add it to their collections, which are kinda of like playlists. You control all those features and YouTube has some of those, but with those added other benefits that we just talked about, Vimeo is great for personalizing content to embed or even for the privacy settings. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for future content for fitness professionals. Also, if you're interested in learning more about improving your audio while you're streaming, watch this video. Or if you wanna utilize a capture card, watch this video.